Hey everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And today's review is in association with MarvelousNews.com, your number one news source for everything Marvel. And for today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Spider Man Homecoming Marvel Legends 3.75 inch 2 pack from Hasbro. Now, this set features figures of both Vulture and Spider Man from the upcoming movie. The figures are clearly displayed in the window box. Up at the top, you've got the Homecoming movie logo and a picture of Spider Man. Down below, you have the names of the characters and the Marvel Legends series logo. On the sides of the packaging, you have images of Spider-Man. And then on the back of the packaging, we have a look at the two figures, a brief bio in multiple languages, and then down below, a picture of another two-pack that's been released featuring comic book versions of Spider-Man and the Shocker. All right, let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figures outside of the packaging along with their contents. Now the only accessory that comes with this set is the wings for the Vulture figure. So basically the wings are attached to a backpack type piece which has a little peg and you've got a double hole system on the back of the figure. So you just plug it in like that. Now the wings have a little bit of articulation. Basically you can do the wings up and down. You can't do them forward and backwards though. They just have the up and down movement and they are attached. You can't remove them from the backpack piece. Um, you have to remove the entire uh, thing if you want to take the wings off. And you've got pretty nice detailing on the outside of the wings. You've got some uh, dark green and then metallic gray and then more green here. You don't have the actual uh, jet turbines in the wings. They just left it blank basically, unlike on the six inch version. But still, overall, for this scale, I think they did a pretty good job. Now, these wings are designed very similarly to the ones that came with the Falcon figure, the Captain America Civil War Falcon figure. Same basic design with the backpack piece, and you can do the wings up and down. So pretty much the same thing with the Vulture's wings. So for the Vulture figure itself, I think they've done a pretty good job with the sculpting detail and pretty solid paint applications. He's got the brown leather coat with the fur collar, and that's a throwback to the classic comic Vulture figure. And this is done with the cream color of the collar, and I like the sculpting detail. And you've got the harness with the gold, metallic gold on it, and the black straps. And then you've got the metallic silver for the metal pieces of the harness that come down his leg and everything. He's got those uh, vulture tape feet. Now the feet are articulated, but the individual toes are not. And then he's got, again, metallic on the belt buckle and some metallic gold on the uh, arm here, both arms. So overall, pretty nice detail. I do think the, the gray color on the helmet is maybe a, too, a little too light color. Maybe all of the gray is a little bit too light. Just from what I've seen with the movie, it doesn't seem quite that light. So it stands out a little bit, but otherwise I think it's nice. I like the metallic green that they used on the visor. Not a whole lot of other paint detail. You do have this black strap on the back of the helmet, but otherwise the paint detail on the helmet is pretty basic. So for the Spider-Man figure, I think they've done a pretty solid job here with the sculpting. The webbing on the red portions of the costume are actually sculpted in there. They're not painted, but they are sculpted, so that looks pretty good. And then he's got the black striping throughout the costume. He's got the spider symbol on his back and the one on his chest, and those are both sculpted as well. He's got the kind of squinty eye look on the mask going and again you've got the webbing sculpted on the head sculpt there so it all looks pretty good and the red and the blue uh, looks pretty solid my only minor complaint with this figure is with the knee joints you get this kind of funny gap between the upper leg and the lower leg it's almost like this uh this double jointed knee uh hinge here is a little too thin on the figure so you get that gap it's also very rubbery this figure does suffer a little bit from that uh gummy joint syndrome but still overall I'm glad they gave him articulation and I think the figure looks pretty solid for the most part. He has one web shooting hand for the left hand and then a closed fist for the right hand. So the figure stand, the vulture figure stands about four, a little over four and a half inches tall and then Spider-Man stands just a little bit over four inches tall. So the scale between the two seems to be pretty good. And then the vulture with his wings on, the wingspan on this is about nine inches in width. And here's a comparison with the movie Vulture with the classic comic Vulture. Here's a comparison of Spider-Man with a couple comic book versions of Spider-Man. Here's a comparison of Spider-Man with his fellow Team Iron Man teammates. So we've got Iron Man, Black Panther, and Black Widow. And here's a comparison with some Team Cap members. So we've got Hawkeye, Falcon, Ant-Man, Captain America, and then Scarlet Witch, which is a five points of articulated figure.
And then finally, here's a comparison with a couple other movie verse. So for articulation, starting with the vulture, you can turn the head to the left and to the right. It's on a ball joint, so you've got a little bit of back and forth movement, but not a whole lot. Unfortunately, they did not give him a hinge joint on the neck like they did with the Falcon figure, so you don't get a, as good a, a position for flight poses. Arms attach with your standard ball hinge joint there at the shoulder, so you can get the arm out pretty good. You've got good rotation. He's got a single hinged elbow, so he can bend his elbow about that much. You've got a rotation there at the elbow. No wrist articulation, no midsection articulation, no waist swivel. Legs are attached with ball joints, so he can do the splits about that much. These little belt pieces come down, so they limit some of that movement. And he can get his leg forward about that much, and he can do his leg back pretty good. No thigh swivel, you've got a double hinge knee, so good bending at the knee, and then you do have hinges on the feet, so good up and down movement, and you do have ankle pivot, and two peg holes on the bottom of his feet. For Spider-Man, you can turn the head to the left and to the right. He does have a ball hinge joint, so he can look down good, and he can look back pretty good as well. Arms attached with your standard ball hinge joint there at the shoulder, so he can get his arm out pretty good, and he's got good rotation. Only has the single hinged elbow, unfortunately. Does have a rotation at the elbow. No wrist articulation. Does have a midsection joint, so you've got rotation there at the midsection. You can pivot to the left and the right. And can't really crunch down very much. Can look back a little bit, but not too much. No waist swivel. Legs are attached with ball joints, so you can do the splits about that much. You can get the leg forward good, and you can do the leg back pretty good. No thigh swivel, double hinge knee, so good bending there at the knee, and then hinges on the feet, so up and down movement, and he does have ankle pivot and two peg holes on the bottom of the feet. Okay, so that's my review. So overall, I think these are pretty decent figures. I like the looks of them. I think the sculpting detail on them are pretty good. Articulation is okay. It's certainly better than what we've seen with a lot of figures in this scale in recent years. I wouldn't call them super articulated. Things like double hinged elbows and a hinge joint on the neck for Vulture would have been nice. But you can still get them in decent poses overall. So I would say if you've been collecting the movie figures in this scale, this is a set that you'll definitely want to add to your collection. Now this set is available now. You can also look at places like Big Bad Toy Store to pick this up. We'll have a full image gallery up at MarvelousNews.com. I'll have a link in the video description below for that. As always, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. You can also follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. I'll have links to those in the video description as well. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.